What's up, guys? Welcome back to Carnegie Studios. In this lesson, we will be covering your hands. What? Covering your hands? Your hands have numbers associated with them. Let's jump right into it. So, as I said before, your hands have numbers associated with them. Each finger represents one numerical value when it comes to specifically playing a finger style for a scale. So you, typically in the C major scale, it'll look like this. But when you get to specific scales like the F major scale, the finger style will change. Or if you get to a sharper flat key, it'll change. And so each finger has a number associated with it. Luckily, the fingers are each number the same. So the thumb will have the same number. The index finger will have the same number. The middle finger will have the same number. So what are the numbers? Your thumb will be numbered one. Your index finger will be number two. Your middle finger will be numbered three. Your ring finger will be numbered four and your pinky finger will be numbered five. And that will be key things to know and remember as we go over these next few days over the finger patterns for the C major scale all the way to the B major scale. That's where we're gonna be covering. And so you'll see an example like this. In your right hand for the C major scale, it will be numbered one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. What does that mean? You've got one, two, three. Then you'll tuck your thumb underneath and you'll go one, two, three, four, five. That's what I mean. The thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky all has, have a number associated with them so that you can play the correct finger pattern needed for the major skill, minor skill, whatever it is. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.